This ROM has been underrated for a while, but it is starting to rise. Guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the Slim Bean ROM for your HTC One. So with Slim Bean ROM, you will be used to it as you are getting your normal stock Android with version 4.2.2. So this is for the HTC One. It seems that all the models are supported, including Sprint. I'll have the links down below for you to download the ROM and the gaps. So this is build version 7, and they release stable versions uh, once in a while. And the last one that I reviewed was build 5 for the Galaxy S4. This is build 7, so there have been a lot of stability updates and a lot of bug fixes. So we do get, as usual, our separate settings in our settings for the customization options from each AOSP ROM. Right here we have the advanced slim settings, which is basically going to be all your customization choices. And we also get advanced system settings where we get some more options that I'll show you in a little. So we're going to start off by taking a look at interface. In this section, you'll get a lot of customization options for different parts of your device. Here we could go into general and change our LCD density to make it look tablet UI. We could also go through parts like display, where we could customize if we want CRT screen off or on animation. We could enable volume rocker wake, touch key light timeout, basically when you want these keys to go out and some more options like brightness there too. In hardware keys we can enable custom actions and change whatever option you want for when you're holding or even just clicking one of the buttons that you have down below. We also do get keyboard and input methods and we do get a lot of lock screen customization options if we pop up into here. We can enable 8 slider targets we get shortcut options, and we could allow stuff like lock screen rotation. If we go back out of that, we can enable navigation bar, which not all stock Android ROMs, at least for the HTC One, allow you to do right now. So if you want to enable the navigation bar, it works perfectly fine, as you can see. I don't prefer it, as it just takes up more screen real estate. In notification drawer, we get the usual options to enable quick settings panel or power widget and we can also if clicking on it go through and customize the tiles and the layout and some other settings there too when we pop back here we do get power menu where we could add different options for when holding the power button let's hold the power button as you can see I added a lot of different options right there if we pop out of that, we also do get Slim Pie. So this is the Pie feature that you're used to. You can enable it, and it'll work just like a Pie that you would get on Paranoid Android or CM 10.1. Under Sound, we get some different sound settings that we could change, including if you want to enable or disable the camera shutter sound. Uh, you can use the volume rocker for music controls, and you could have vibrate during call and some other options there too and last but not or actually not last we get status bar uh, under status bar this is probably going to be the coolest customization area at least for me usually because this is where you get to customize the area that you're checking constantly so if we click on battery icon and bar style you could choose between all these different battery icons uh, I choose this one for now, but you do get some more options there, and we could go through here and look around. Of course, the status bar background style is also customizable, so if you don't want the black background for the status bar, you could change it to a different color. Of course, clock and date are also customizable, meaning you could do stuff like center the clock or put it to the left. You can also change the color, add AM, PM style, and also add date if you want that to be shown. We could also auto hide status bar if you just don't want it at all. And we could have a quick peek feature where you could peek at status bar by swiping from the top edge of the screen. So, we do get widget view pager, which 
is another setting that you're probably used to by now from the hardware keys and of course we do get our Wi-Fi area just some advanced settings so as I said there are a lot of settings you could go through here under device this is where you could actually disable the three menu button so if we go into uh, touch screen you could enable the HTC's logo upper part to act as a hardware menu button so just to show you that that is working let's pop up into the Play Store and click as you can see the menu has popped up and it works perfectly fine when going through this ROM this is probably going to be one of the fastest stock Android ROMs you could get for the HTC One it is speedy all the way th through the ROM and you probably won't find yourself landing any lag as we pop through stuff like Twitter it opens up perfectly fine and so does stuff like X8 Premium everything will just feel really snappy and fast so as I said this ROM is a stable 7 release so you could expect great stability from this ROM this is probably one of the best AOSP ROMs for your HTC One definitely the one that I use as my stock ROM for now and guys definitely go check this ROM out as I said I'll have the links all down below and thanks for watching make sure to follow me on Twitter and Facebook I'll have those links down below too if you want to contact me and yeah guys thanks for watching